Hey guys, what's up? My name is Rich Blaze and welcome back to another video. Today's video I'll be showing you guys how to install EFB 3.0. This is going to be an updated video of my previous install. So watch this one, not my last one. I will have all the links you need in the description below. And I will also have the Discord linked as well. So to start things, we're going to go ahead and download 7-Zip. It is a free program, just like WinRAR, but we don't want WinRAR for this install. We want 7-Zip, so go ahead and download it depending on your operating system. And then we're going to want to download Stalker Anomaly. In order to do that, you go to Stalker Anomaly's mod DB page and press download. Then we'll want to download EFP's mod files, which are located within the Discord. I will link the media fire link down below because that's the one I'm using. So in order to download from here you'll want to click on one of these and then press download and then select the other one and do the same thing. Then you'll also want mod organizer. It's up to you whether you want the 7-zip file or the exe. I just download the installer because that's all that's necessary realistically. Once we have those files downloaded this will this is my downloads folder pretty much and we'll install 7-zip install it wherever there we go 7-zips installed now we're going to extract with 7-zip to anomaly 1.5 that way it creates us a little folder that we can then move Right, now that that's extracted, we're going to go ahead and extract EFP Anomaly, and then following that, we'll extract EFP MO2. Same process, go down to 7-zip, extract EFP Anomaly, then we'll go extract EFP MO2. Alright, now that we have extracted all our files, we're going to have to do the most important step in my opinion gonna go to this PC open a new window then you're gonna choose one of your drives so for me it'll be E and then yours is gonna look different obviously if it's your C drive it'll look like this but for my sake it's gonna be the E drive and we're gonna go in here and we're just gonna create a new folder and we'll call it the EFP game and then within this folder, we will create two new folders. One we'll just call EFP, and the other one we'll call MO2. So we're gonna open up our EFP folder, and then we're gonna go back to our downloads. We're gonna copy everything from within the anomaly folder into the EFP folder. Now that we have moved that over, we're going to start up Anomaly at least once, just so it can get all the files from before. You can go ahead and enable all of these, as it doesn't really matter. And then we're going to press Save Settings, Play Stalker. And we can close this. And then we're going to back out back out we're gonna double click our mod organizer exe press yes to allow it I accept next then we're gonna hit browse and you're gonna look for the folder you created mine's located on the E drive so wherever yours is located and we're gonna hit our drop down menu click mo2 folder and press ok next 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 create a desktop shortcut for it and hit next install and let that do its thing now we're gonna go ahead and launch mod organizer and we're gonna create a new instance we're gonna create a portable instance we're gonna scroll down hit browse then we're gonna go looking for our folder on the drive that we used so mine is on the E drive, yours is most likely going to be on the C drive. And then we're going to hit EFP and select folder. Next. Next. Now it should say Game Stalker Anomaly. And hit finish. So there's our instance of it for now. 
we can close this now we have these two folders what we want to do first is we'll take our EFP MO2 folder files and we will drag these onto the MO2 folder that we created all right once prompted to replace files we're gonna replace the files in the destination and then we're gonna back out of this folder go back to our EFP anomaly folder the one that we downloaded and extracted we're gonna copy these files into the EFP folder we created and we're gonna replace the files in that destination then we can open up MO2 folder hit our mod organizer EXE and then from here we want to come up to the profile bar press that click EFP 3.0 and then you also want to come here and change this to anomaly DX 11 AVI now as you see here we have a bunch of sections with mods you can enable disable whatever mods you feel just make sure you don't mess up the mod order you can also install mods by coming here and pressing install mod just try not to mess with the mod order too much as it's very very important and then we can go ahead and launch and there we have it ladies and gentlemen that is how you install escape from Pripyat when you hit new game this is what it should look like my mouse is freaking out again and yeah that's pretty much it if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like and a comment if you have any questions head over to the discord as i will probably not be answering them as i am not qualified to but thank you guys for watching again if you're new around here hit that subscribe button and i love you all thank you so much Bye bye